if you get the right version, the King James Version, it says, By fire and by sword will the Lord flee with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Do I got to go into that word slain? You should just look at that word up yourself. Slain is used in some of the right rap videos. So death, destruction, plagues are getting ready to come. They're already here. It's already started. The process has already started, man. These devils have already begun to come down with great wrath upon you, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The thing about it, we used to it already, but it's getting ready to be on, on another level. All right? Pretty soon, your computers and everything are going to stop working. Everything that's electronic is going to stop working. You know? Your comfortable way of living is going to stop. It's going to come down to either be killed, kill, or be killed. You know? But it says in the scriptures that my servants shall eat. What does it say in scripture? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. All right? Because the prophets and, and the hopeful elect, we know that these times are coming. Lord willing, the most I will protect us, man. Some of us might have to die, of course, all right? But at least we're going to be faithful. What does it say in verse 4? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. But if we, if we die in our faith, we, we're going to have that comfort of the Holy Spirit, man. The most I might take the Spirit away from us uh, before we feel that death, that death stroke, you know? That's why it's... We have to be faithful until death, man. All right, let's get that. The scriptures say that. Be faithful until death. Lord willing, you might not have to see death. Okay. But let's go to it, though. Let's go to it. Be faithful until death. All right, I think that's the book of... Um, is that Revelation? Let me see. Be faithful unto death. King James Version. All right. Fear the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of these th those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye have tribulation ten days. But thou faithful, no, it's like it. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Faith is what's going to keep you su sustained during these hard times, man. What is, what is the time we're talking about? What is the time we're talking about? Let's go to it. All right? Let's go to it. All right? What time are we talking about? What time are we going to have to be faithful in? Well, it starts right now being faithful because we know, we know these devils are starting to turn up the knob with the, the you-know-what and the mandates and all that good stuff, okay? So let's go to the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 30, starting at verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, that none is like it. It is even the time, what? The time of Jacob's trouble. When you go back to Romans, that verse I found it in Romans. Now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Time. Let's connect time. To this time, what time are we talking about? Why is it high time to awake out of sleep? Why? Because for that day, it says Jeremiah 3, I mean, I'm sorry, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. How are we going to be saved out of it? By faith, okay? By being obedient to the word, all right, honoring the laws, 
statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. That's how we're going to be saved out of it. The fear of the Lord. Remember, the fear of the Lord is your salvation. The fear of the Lord is your refuge. Okay? If you have the fear of the Lord on you, you know, the Most High is going to look after you, man. You know? But you just have to believe. Don't be like uh, 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 Second Ezra uh, chapter 15, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. If you're going to die, go out faithful, man. Strong, with dignity, with your head up. You know? With your spiritual head up. You know? Your strength in the Most High. Paul died with dignity. Yahweh Shah died with dignity. Stephen died with dignity, man. Those prophets died faithfully, man. I guarantee you, I know they got a crown of life, man. That's how we have to be. Even though these devils are getting ready to come down with great wrath upon us, be faithful unto death. Just like the Bible says, man. No matter what circumstance that you're in. All right? Yeah, these devils got these uh, false viruses coming out right now, man. Man-made viruses. And it's getting ready to be worse than what it is right now. All right? Making people think that this thing started in China. Well, actually on the news, it just said that Dr. Fauci funded the virus. He funded the virus, I think, uh, $2 billion or something like that. And you have this, these devils bringing out these other devils, man. You know, it's crazy. These devils snitching on each other. Are you freaking serious? But hey, man, now it's our time to awake out of sleep. Why? Because the devil's getting ready to come upon you with great wrath. Okay? He's getting ready to come upon you with great wrath right now. All right? We're in the last seconds of these things, man. So these devils are going to do everything they can to deceive you, to destroy you. All right? How much time I got? Five more minutes. Six more minutes. So if you want to start building a relationship with the Lord, you're definitely going to have to start fearing Him. Okay? What does it say about the fear of the Lord? Let's get into that right now. What does it say about the fear of the Lord? All right. Let's go into the book of Proverbs. Chapter 1, verse 9. Chapter 1, verse 7. Salakia. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You got a lot of fools out here. We tell them what's taking place. We tell them about Bible prophecy. But are they listening? No. They don't want to hearken. So if you don't want to hearken to the words of the Lord, then you're a fool. That's what the Bible says. What does it say? The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, chapter 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But fools despise knowledge. The Holy Bible is a book of knowledge. It tells you how to live. If you want salvation, this book tells you how to live. Okay? Even Christians despise this book without knowing it, man. We try to break down the interpretations of scriptures. But you so-called Christians come over here and say, oh, it doesn't mean that. How do you know? Just because you go to church? Just because you go to church, sit on the front row, just because you give your pastor tip 20% of your paycheck, you stupid enough to do that, does not make you righteous. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Not the amount that you put in your, in your pastor's uh, collection plate. Not where you sit in a church. Not having a suit and tie in your closet. Not going to your uh, your 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 uh, uh, your tea party, or your women's day service, or your revivals. That doesn't give you knowledge. That's the path to destruction. 
Broad is the way to destruction, like the Bible says. Let's go down to verse 9. Actually, no. Let's go back. Let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Again it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The knowledge of the holy. The knowledge of the righteous is understanding. So, if you don't have the correct interpretation of the Bible, then you don't have the correct interpretation of what it's like to be righteous. If you don't have the knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness just like the scriptures say. That is in the scriptures. Facts. How do you establish a relationship with the Most High? You have to fear Him first. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning, the start. So in order to establish a relationship with the Lord, you have to fear Him first. And also, ask the Most High to forgive you of your sins. But some of you don't want to do that. You're too proud. And that's one of the abominations that the Most High does not like. A prideful heart. Let's get that as a matter of fact. Think 
everybody. The most high made you. If you the most high, if you the most high, this you say you the most high? Okay, you will make that progress here. God right now. Nah, he, he's low. Our nation is low. This is a perfect example of our people being lost right now. That's why we need the Most High to come and cleanse this earth. This brother, he knows the name. He knows the language. But you know what? You got these evil principalities. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm glad you came up here. I'm glad you came up here. You gotta go? Yeah. Okay. All right, another one. Sell them off. Sell them off, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, this is this is what we deal with on a regular basis in Israel. Okay. Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, starting at verse 12. All right. This is the book of Ephesians. Oh, like Mr. Eden, cut off my freaking internet. That's all right. Let me see. Yeah, brother. Brother, why you want to smoke that, brother? Yeah, why you want to smoke that, brother? Come on. Why you want to smoke that? You just spit that up off the ground. You don't know how to get back in my bed. Yeah, but don't do it. Come on. I understand. Don't smoke that. Don't smoke that, bro. Come on, man. For real. Don't smoke that. I understand. But, bro, don't smoke that. This is the this is the lack of knowledge that we're talking about right now. He has the knowledge in here, but you know, let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This brother is a perfect example. He's not wrestling not against flesh and blood. This brother is wrestling against principalities right now, man. I mean, look at him. This brother is wrestling against principalities right now. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, this brother has demons on him, man. The brother just walked away. You know, I was kind of expecting him to do something, but I was like, no, nah, let me talk to this brother, man. He's just lost right now, man. You know? That's a perfect example. We deal with, um, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. We deal with these evil spirits every day, man. We got to deal with Mr. E. We got to deal with these 
the, the wicked ass spirits that are in these heathens, these wicked spirits that are in our women. We have to deal with these things on a daily basis, man. This society does not like the black Hebrew Israelite man, or the, the Hebrew Israelite Native American, or the Hebrew Israelite Hispanic. All right? But I'm going to close it right there, man. I'm, I, uh, to water y'all, I should be out shot for that uh, situation. You know? That's proof that our people are lost right now, bro. It's proof. The brother knows the name. I hope the Most High forgives him for saying that he was the Most High. I mean, Lord willing, he'll be forgiven for that. You know, in the scriptures it says, the Most High will have mercy upon, upon whom he will have mercy upon. Let me see if I can get that right now. I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. All right. Let's go to the book of um, let's go to the book of Romans, chapter nine, verse fifteen. All right. For saith, for saith to Moses, I will have, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Okay? Now, the most I know is what state we are in right now, so, you know, I don't know what you can, you know, that's between you and the most high, whatever the most high forgives you for. The only thing I can tell you is, is start a, a, a relationship with the Lord. The two ways you can do that is by fearing him and asking him to forgive you of your sins. All right. Now, I'm going to go out with this scripture right here. All right, now this is the book of uh, Isaiah. Chapter 5, verse 25. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and, his, and he has stretched forth his hand against them, and has smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and the carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So the hand of the Lord is still stretched out still, y'all. All right? Don't let it be too late. When all these things happen, then will you know our prophet ha has been among you. Don't let it be too late. Because these devils are getting ready to come in with great wrath. Pretty, pretty, uh, in, in, uh, I don't know how long, but in a short time, it's going to be dangerous for us to come out in, in these streets and preach this truth. So get it while you can. Till next time, I'm going to send our praises and glory to Call Halayim La, Obanawa Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Wakar Kadash, Barakatai. Shalom.